Hey guys, this is Cherbut talking, and this is the first video I'm making with commentary. I'm not a fluent English speaker, learning it by myself, so please bear with me if I do some mistake, talk some in wrong words, and I'll try to do my best. Now, I'm here to talk about the new event, I'm a little too late, but I wanted to do it so I can keep doing, and this is my test run, so let's start. The, the new event calls Nameless Flower, and we get the six stars word Folka Trace. And the game gave us 100, uh, uh, sorry, 1k and curries of the event, so we could, everyone could get this word even without doing anything. Let me show you here, and you can actually see what you have been getting on the chests. And we can get to the gift box here and look to the story. Here we can see that we got um, a silver imitation flower compensation as malfunction that occurred in the Chinese version. So our, everyone got um, 10 of this item, totalizing 1k currency, to get the news word. But let's talk about the event right now. And this nameless flower is an event with 6 normal stages and 4 challenged stages. The six f first stages are actually beaten by anyone that has actually been playing the game since launch or since the, f the first days of the game. And it says it's recommended and that's this number here that's um, 15k. I'm not really sure in if this is the correct number. Some people are having difficulty beating it with the, this recommend might. But it's somehow closer to it. You can still beat it using uh, some strategy. And there's uh, it's nameless flower one another, two another, three another, and four another. I didn't unlock the stages yet because I'm having some hard time beating the nameless flower too because I've been doing all the story and side story quests to upload on my YouTube channel. And I was not uh, raising the level of my characters. Also, uh, in this event, you have to use a very specific in characters to, to beat the stage because they give us more drops. And that's Cena, John, and Lucia. You have to use the three. Um, Cena is the only one I've been using because she's one of the best sword fighters in the game, and I'm always using her if she can use in Sir of Gates in all events. And Gian is not that strong, she's one of the worst uh, bow users actually. And Lucian, one of the weakest and uh, magic users. So, by um, forcing me to use two, those two heroes here, and I'm not, I don't have any st good staff. I'm using a 3 star version here, and so that cripples me a lot and can beat the, the, that stage right now without reviving. I don't need to, not everyone don't need to, people uh, were getting very heated when this event got released and because the, not many people can beat the name of Flower 2 in the hub. But you don't need to, and that's why I'm here. Uh, I posted a, a text guide on Reddit and explaining why you should be doing the Nameless Flower 6 stage. And that's what I'm doing and I keep doing until I get stronger and try the, the other ones. Remember, this event we run for um, and in 20 days for now. That's a lot of time for you to be doing it. And you don't need to clear those stages now. If you the best stage to, to run and farm, and uh, it's the 6th stage, you can spend 10 days farming in the last two days trying to beat the last stage. It's, this is the best approach for now. You don't need to waste energy by losing. You won't be having a hot age because of it too. It's just do this to yourself. And let's go back to Exchange Boot. This is the first event with this and this is the best thing about events in Volcar Anatomia. You have a lot of good items to trade, and uh, a lot of awful items too, and I'll try to explain something here. And I already purchased the 6 stars word here, can that's focus rise, it's not showing here, because I already got it. And it's also purchased some of the 5 star limit break item, named Unnamed Flower Fossil, it, this is used to limit break the 5 star weapon that we get on the first stage. Let me show you this weapon for you. 
It's here. The Onyx Full Catra. This drops from the first stage. I have a, uh, will be uploading to the first eight stages on the YouTube too, but you won't be needed to uh, uh, any strategy or anything because it drops from the very first stage. This Onyx Focatra is a weapon with a dark element. You can use it. In, uh, it's useful when you need to switch the the element of your uh, hero, like exactly what you can do with Senna. Senna is from the lightning element. The, the lightning element is the um weak against the enemies so senna hits less with the, her third attack you can see her third attack here let's send that here the setting sun that has no element the edge of light has no element but the lightning assault it's from lightning element and so because of it she will be doing way less damage and her kits uh, her attacks are uh, focus on the last of the, the lightning assault is her best attack and he has the way better multiplier than the others and so because of it attacking with the light element will be doing way less damage so by using the focal troy uh, this here the uh, focal troys you can change her element but focal troys is a word with very low and 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 stages and you can see that if i change it and I'll be getting way less status. So right now, while I'm not working on mine, and you can see here that it's still level 38, I didn't then any tampering on it. I haven't raised any of the skill. So right now it's not that good so much, but I uh, will be working towards like getting to level 40 and rising the skill so I can work on the last stages of the event. When you get this skill to level five by using the fire star sword that i will show you shortly after you will be doing a lot of damage to the bosses this skill here uh, it's a one hit skill that you can use three times and it hits all enemies you can see here uh, wipe out fire of hell dealing heavy damage to all enemies if you can reach the level five with this skill with this uh, weapon you'll be doing uh you'll be helping when in with the future some of the the next events have still have uh, uh, enemies weak to dark um i'm not sure if they're right next event after this or the another but you will use this word again very soon so work on it re try to reach the max level if you can reach the max level alex get this word and work on the status choose is a subi weapon and right here i'm using five star word words sometimes and sometimes even four stars words because i don't have too many word weapons here to use as, as sub weapons oh, i'm even using a three star one because i don't have many options i don't have many options because i'm not summoning i'm not using my gems because i'm not very uh, surprised with these weapons they are not that good yet but some are uh, and i'll tell you that uh two uh, uh, yesterday, uh, yesterday not, uh, two days ago uh, when this event started, we got two new banners and this was the Holly Weapons banner, this weapon, uh, the Luffing Tooth and the Brilliant Needle are uh, event specific weapons, they become back later but they are uh, specific better to be used here. The, the Luffing Tooth will give you more drops on of the currency for the event and the Brilliant Needle too. Uh, the Brilliant Needle is a 5 star weapon, you can see it here, there's 5 stars in the only rich level 55th and 55, sorry. And the uh, Luffing Tooth is a 6 star weapon. The Luffing Tooth is almost, this, it has the Holy Break skills, let me show you here, Divine Weapon Traits, you can see what the weapon does here. Uh, the, the statuses are not really the problem, but uh, the skill uh, great slower and uh, a, a bit greatly lowers our abilities of all enemies. Uh, all abilities uh, you should interpret as status. It will debuff your enemies by a, uh, a greatly amount and use some small amount of magic damage. The damage is very bad. You don't. It's just there. But when you lower the abilities of the, your enemies, you'll be receiving less damage and dealing more damage because you'll re be uh, reducing their defenses too. So, but this is this weapon, it's a, a carbon copy of this another weapon that is of sword and, and it's the Rangdutch.
the language and this uh, Luffing Tooth work the same. Just that Luffing Tooth is a staff weapon and the Rangrich is a sword weapon. But there's something. Uh, magic users uh, use staffs for damage and usually for damage. So using this to lower your enemy defense status um, is not the best thing here. So that's why I'm not that impressed by this weapon. And the five star war, uh, uh, bow is not um, it's just uh, a five star bow. It will, won't be used for, for more than this event. Now let's get back here. And there's the other two war weapons that got released in with the Divine Ascension event. The Divine Ascension event is actually a PvP and, and, and type of event. You get to Divine Transfer, and if you get to the top and 500, you get some gem. Uh, Orb, exclusive orb for your, for you, and it's your ranking reward. You get to see here in this empathy orb seven, or the six you get if you have reached up to one k rank. I'm not that in, uh, involved uh, for as of now on this event, so I'm not even on the five hundred uh, top. But Let's get back to the divine weapon and see the, the, the these two weapons tied to this event. They don't won't give anything good. Uh, when you summon, you get and twenty of the rainbow keys, keys that you use for the PvP mode. It's three keys per fight, so twenty is not that much. There's a lot of way to farm this rainbow keys, but it's just a bonus. The the tire thing. This this is the word uh, I'm talking. Uh, this is the best of the two weapons weapons here. Uh, this Mystic Wiser is just a non-elemental attack and you can use it three times, it's just one hit, it won't raise your perfect bar too much, so I, I don't think it's good. You can, if you get, you can use as stack sticks in the future, but it's not that good of a, of a weapon. But the tire thing is something unique, and then I will try to explain here. A lot of people in the community is not recommending this word because the Guardian is just 5%. That, that's very, very low, and, and it's lower than four star weapons, I can say. But this is not the only way to use a, a heavy sword. Not every heavy sword uses sword, to be honest. And some, like uh, um, uh, Army Green, can be used just for damage, and you can ignore the guard uh, thing about Army Green. And yeah, some others uh, have his word users too. And if you if you are using two have his word users, you can use one for guard and the another for damage or support. And this is a support word for uh, for characters that are, that are more used for damage or guard. So that's why it's confusing. But let's get to see the the the, the effect of the skill. We can get to divine weapon traits, and we can see here that. This, the statuses are just all around the same for now. All this, the five, the six stars words and have around the same values for status, but the guard hates is, is almost always different. And here, all, this curse of destruction it says it improves all abilities of all members and cover a small amount of HP. The, the, the heal is, is weak. You don't even need to rely on it. It's the same heal as the Svetlite's word, here let me show you the, the, the Svetlite's word, but it also has another effect, it has the both com uh, effects of Rangrage and Svetlite combined into one weapon. The, you can use two times the, the effect of the Rangrage, the Rangrage uh, reduces all the status of your enemies and do small damage. The Svetlite buffs your characters and heals for small amounts of HP. What this weapon tar thing does is use the both effects of the two weapons all at once. Yeah, yeah, it's way incredible. Yeah, but there is a drawback. You can only use one once. In, so, uh, it, as the buff works for three turns, you will be having to, to finish your battle with in, within three turns or don't prolong it too much because that's the only um, how much you'll be half the buff but but there's a catch and uh, if you if you're going against the boss with both the the spell light and the hang grid, you'll be using two heroes with two support we uh, and weapons 
But if you're using the entire thing, you can bring three other characters with three damaging weapons. That's where tier thing shines. So three damage, one support. If you're using specialized and hangers, two support and two damage. That's the 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 best thing about tier thing. Some sometimes you may need to one shot some boss and using tier thing first and three damaging weapons uh, using the skill of this damaging weapons shortly after is sometimes the best way to deal with this specific boss and killing boss uh, straight away is sometimes the best strategy in the game and uh, this this uh, new event has a boss that can deal curse and attack uh, attack you up to three times so killing it as soon as possible is the best strategy most of the time not only on this event and in future events as well so turfing is Actually, I have recommended a weapon. It's a very good weapon. It's for this event only right now. It will come back in the future. And uh, I believe in the future it will stay on all banners. But right now it's tied to this banner. And it's good. The Mystic Wiser is not a good weapon. It's just a non-elemental weapon. You won't be getting them more damage by using uh, element weakness. So I don't recommend this one. If you want to summon, surfing is your best bet right now. And the event weapons that comes from the, this Holy Juvenile weapon, and they are not a good idea, unfortunately, because Luffing Toot is used by staff, and staff are more for damage. But you, it's not that bad either, so it's, you're not losing too much. But I only recommend the, the surfing is worth. Well, okay, let's go back to the event. Once, uh, like I said, you need to use um, uh, Senna, John, and Lucia. So I'll try to truly raise their their levels. And right now, my John is the only can only reach level forty, and I'll be using the limit break for her. You'll be using for maybe more than one week. Then, so try to get the best things. You can keep right now. Uh, my Lucy is using only, only using a uh, three star rod because I don't really have any other weapons. But it it works, and you can see I'm not I'm not very in, in, uh, invested here. I have uh, just a succession orb that that's good because I, I get it on the challenge board. Everyone can get this. The weapons are only one six star. John only uh, has two six star bows. I was lucky; you got two of the same bow. Senna uses using the first battle's word. That's free to everyone. My focus tries as a super weapon right now. It would it will get to main weapon, but not right now. And Alicia is using the only the first battle's word. A same. That's free true. So my equipment is very easy to get. And I'll try to run a. Uh, one of the stages of the event. Let's go back here. So, the Nameless Flower has six normal stages. The Nameless Flower number one, number two, three, four, five, six, and six. The Nameless Flower, one another, two another, that's the three another, and the four another, uh, two. The, there's three, uh, uh, this, this two another, Stages are way harder. The the nameless flower six hour is already hard. Uh, it's not exactly the, the this number fifteen k does not seem right. And some people with the same record might are not getting an easy time here. Uh, all that's uh, it's very challenging for to some people. But it's the best place to get your currency for the, the event. But if you can beat the sixth stage, beat the, the five or the fourth. I posted a guide on Reddit explaining why the, the six the stage six is the best. And you don't lose much by running the stage five or four. Uh, let's do a, a stage six run here. The best weapon to be used here is just uh, maybe the focal tries if someone has uh, this, this people here, uh, the focal tries with the level 1 skill. This is a good use, but or you can use the Shvelch Light from your friends. I use the Shvelch Light for now. 
and I'll start the quest. So the, all the stages on this event have three enemies, common enemies that are that's of the gray color, one boss and one chest. You don't need to use the search uh, option here, you won't get anything other besides uh, the rainbow keys, gold and stuff like that. And you can get, get currency from search, you can get currency from any of the chests that drops besides the boss. Only the boss can drop a, a chest that will give you currency for this event. And so because of it, just go straight to the, the chest. And if you don't have too much power, one of the good things here is just to raise your purity bar by attacking this small, this weak enemies here. Well, uh, I missed a lot of attacks. So try to raise your bar here. Raise it one. The boss I can raise is two because of the. This, this, this heroes I'm using here I don't have too much hits and they mm, just want for this fight and I miss sometimes because I'm not that used to this, to this squad there's two more green enemies they are very weak they will, they will die with too many uh, with very weak attacks and they are not a challenge just for you to raise your bar. If you do if you do auto you won't charge any of the bar, so it's your choice. Depends on your and your attack and your mighty against the boss. So I'm using doing this just so you can see. Only two bars. And one last enemy. There's still a chance to get to the max bar here, Remember, but I can't really miss any of the hits and I'm missing here. But that's not that important. So you can just focus on killing the enemies too. The boss won't survive for long. Well, he attacked Alicia, and Alicia gains British bar if you, if she gets attacked. Yes, that's the max bar. And now it's boss time. Oh, I start with the switch light so I can raise my status as soon as possible. And I will use the my bow skill so I can kill those two minions without having to attack them directly. And then I attack the boss with all my characters and use my purity skill. Sometimes it can do a lot of damage that it's half dead already. Sometimes I I can get it to die on without the he attacking me, so it's where it depends. But it's very easy to deal with this boss if you get planted. Well, it's dead already. You notice that he dropped down a silver chest. This is the your currency. You can check just now. Uh, you can check right now. Uh, after you get the small chest. The small chest will always give you uh, a rainbow key to use in PvP. Oh. This is your small chest, the, the bronze chest, the rainbow key that you got on the last node of the map. And this is the silver imitation flower that you get 54 and drops. You got uh, 30 just because you brought the Senna, Lucia and John. And that's it. Uh, you got uh, way more than you the half. You will be only getting uh, 24 if you didn't bring those three. So that's why they are so important. You need to use this, this exact team all the time on this event. Okay. 
So that's how you get way more currency and get to trade way more items on the shop. So I'll click next here, get back to exchange boot, and this is where I can get more items. I'll get another Unem fossil, fall or fossil too. Let me break one more time in my five star event world here on upgrade and use limit break and i get in here oh well forgot to get on the chest every time you trace something on the booth you get need to get here to the chest claim so that you can use so here equipment upgrade limit break i get in here the the five the, the fourth limit break costs uh, a lot of gold, but it's still okay. I have a lot of gold. Okay, reaching the level. The I already post the the open condition for both uh, both on the status of this world. It's giving such. Uh, good status right now but it will only reach the max potential when i use one more limit break okay let me close here let's get back to the event shop one more time and i posted the, the guide on reddit and i say that the full katra is one of the good things to get the Union Fossil, the Awakening Amber, and Awakening Pearl. The Awakening Amber will limit break any of the, your 6-star weapons. The Awakening Pearl you, will limit break any of your 5-star weapons that I recommend you to limit break the Exorcist Bow, the Fronachi event. It's a Dark Element Bow. You can just limit break it with the, the stone. Just like this, this is like limit breaking. Uh -uh. Oh, well, I don't have the the pearl here on my stock, so I won't be able to limit break it. But once you get this pearl, get back here. This awakening pearl will, will let me limit break this exorcist both two times, so that's a good thing. The awakening ember, the unem fossil, and the full katra are the best things you can get on this event and the uh, hammers for short swords and then i already traded the, the max value you can get uh, 20 for the three star version and the four star version i already use it all to upgrade my two swords uh, there's the two star version then one star version i don't recommend in trading for this because they give way 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 less experience it won't really matter anyway you can try to trade for other through the four star or the third star, if you could try to go turfing or another wolf word that you have and you need to upgrade. But the best things you can get is the six stars word, the full katra, and uh, all this is top items here. So try to prioritize these things. Just don't try to waste your currency on rainbow keys and on gold. Gold is, is not a problem, usual. In the rainbow key there's a lot of way better ways to farm for this thing here even if you use search on other maps with uh by using the this character here i always forget his name this valvalois this guy has the best way to farm rainbow keys with explorer you can if you rise this explorer to a good level you can reduce your ap cost for search to one and search gives you rainbow keys so don't try to get rainbow keys from this event or go at all you won't be getting much you only be wasting your currency so that's it guys this is covers all the uh, these things about this event if you have any questions please um post here if you haven't subscribed yet please do uh, i'll be doing a lot of videos for this game and uh, rest assured but uh, i'm still learning and if I, there's something you can say to me some feedback please do i will try to get better thank you and closing bye